So now we're going to be looking at problem number 321. And in this one, we have a sales mix. And so we have more than one product that we're analyzing in this one. Okay, so um, just to put down some of the facts, this is um, a company with three varieties of rice. We have Fragrant, White, and Lunzang. And I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, they give us budgeted sales by product and in total for the coming month. And then underneath that, they give us dollar sales to break even, which they took our fixed expenses divided by our contribution margin ratio, which is simply your contribution margin divided by your sales price. And it tells us that net operating income is budgeted at 30720 which is given to you in the figure. And break-even sales are $702,000. So in the first one, it asks us to prepare a contribution margin uh, contribution format income statement for the month based on actual sales data and to present the income statement in the form format shown above. And so, um, again, like I said, we're looking at a normal company that's got more than one product, which is very common. And um, we're looking at sales, we're looking at variable costs next because remember we're doing a contribution income statement. So we have our contribution margin next. Then we have our fixed expenses. And then we have our net operating income or loss if it's a negative number. So we'll be working with this format as we answer this, this question. And it asks us to do it um, the way that it was presented. So we're going to start with white as the product and then we're going to go with fragrant and then finally the last one which I'm not sure I'm saying correctly Lunzane keeps you entertained when I don't say things right um, so our percentage of total sales and again this is given um, Where's it at? Oh, it seems actual sales for the month total 750,000 is planned. Actual sales by product are white, 300,000. So we're basing this on actual information. Fragrant 100, ooh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Fragrant 180,000 and uh, Lunzane 270,000, which gives us total, we'll come over here and make our total. And I'm not going to go across the columns because I'm going to add some more information there. Um, but when we look at our percentage of sales, we can take our and make that absolute. And then um, that gives us 40%. So we're going to format that as a percentage. And then I think I can fill that across and then just delete those two. Okay, so we have a percentage of total sales for each of our products, 40, 24, and 36. And then we look at our variable expenses. And um, so to get our variable expenses, we go back to our chart um, of information on, at the beginning of the problem. And we know that our variable cost if, at our the level of sales that was given to us or budgeted for us, our uh, variable expenses were 72% for white, 20% for fragrant, and 40% for the other. And so we can go ahead and put those percentages in here. Um, this, again, is what we use. We don't want that number yet. This is what we use. For planning purposes, so if it is 72% of our sales, it would be $216,000, $36,000, and $108,000. Then I can sum those across and get my $360,000. My contribution margin, you guys should know this by now, it's just your sales minus your variable cost. And I'm going to go ahead and fill those across and then delete the ones I don't need. So I've got my contribution margin for each one. 
and um, on my variable cost, because this is my total, I'm going to take my variable divided by my sales, and that gives me 48%. This is obviously 100%. Uh, reformat that as a percentage. So that means my overall contribution margin is my 100% minus my 48%. And this is what we have to do. It's kind of what we're focusing on over here. This number is what I'm after. Um, when we have a sales mix, that's kind of what I'm looking for there. And then our um, fixed expenses, and I'll just go ahead and put those over here on the total because it's given to us for the whole company, not individual products. And so our net operating income or loss is our contribution margin. Oh, I've got too many of those, sorry. Minus our fixed expenses. So we have a loss of $59,280. Then it asks, um, and so what, that, what we've done is a contribution margin based on actual sales using budgeted percentages for variable cost and budgeted percent, budgeted fixed cost. So then it asks us to compute the break-even point in dollar sales for the month based on actual data. And so what we're looking for here, um, break-even sales, it's going to be our fixed cost, which is 449,280, divided by our contribution margin percentage. And that why that, that's why that number is so important. When we start analyzing and kind of playing with our information, we this 52%, what that tells me is that for every dollar of sales, 52% of that dollar is going to contribute it toward covering my fixed cost, and then anything left over would be profit. So my break-even sales are $864,000. Okay, and then finally in this problem, now remember, this is managerial accounting. So we're analyzing the numbers, we're making projections based on the past, based on what the marketing department's telling us, based on what production is telling us, um, based on what sales is telling us. And so in number three, it says, considering the fact that the company met its $750,000 sales budget for the month, so we met this, this budget right here that we were aiming toward, the president was shocked that the results shown in our income statement um, from requirement number one, prepare a brief memo for the president explaining why the operating results and the break-even point in dollar sales are different from what was budgeted. And so what we're doing is comparing what we have here to what was budgeted over on page 107. And what we're going to see is that we sold more white um, when we thought we were going to sell more fragrant. Now look at the contribution margin for white and fragrant. I'm on page 107 looking at problem number 321 in the data. So what I budgeted is that I would sell more fragrant than white. Well fragrant has a high contribution margin, meaning for every dollar in sales more contributes toward fixed cost and um, then operating income. So because I sold actual sales was 28% fragrant and 40% white, I sell more white, which had a lower contribution margin. So even though I met my sales goals, I didn't meet my mix of sales goals that I wanted. And therefore, it changed my net and operating income. And this is one of those instances where this contribution margin, we look at that and we go, okay, if this product is contributing 72% of its sales price to our bottom line, and this one's contributing 20%, which one do we want to sell more of? And so that's why that number is so very, very important. We want to focus on this product that's contributing. I'm sorry, that's my variable cost. I said that wrong. Um, we want to focus on this one that's contributing 80%. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here so I won't mess that up again. Had it right the first time. Um, so yeah, our contribution margin percentage is low for white, <clears throat> is high for fragrant. We sold 24% fragrant. We thought we were going to sell 52% fragrant. That's why our bottom line is not what we were expecting, even though we met our sales goals. So we want to focus on selling fragrant um, because it's got a higher contribution margin.